Hey guys, Coxie here and welcome back to a brand new matchday vlog. Today, Dundee United took on Motherwell in the Cinch Premiership at Tarrant Dice Park. Now, before we get any further in this vlog, I would just like to say a massive thanks to all the positive comments I got. It was uh, rather surprising in the last vlog and I really do appreciate that. However, there were some people, I'm not going to mention, that shared my content and in the original tweet or Instagram post they didn't credit me and I would really appreciate it because the tweets did so well I really appreciate it in future if anyone's going to clickbait or clip me in any way shape or form at my expense because I've said something funny or idiotic please just say it was Gogs 99 on YouTube because then I might actually get some more traction to my channel. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get cracking with the rest of the vlog. Right, so we're now walking towards the ground. I mean, we're now on Isla Street, so we're just walking straight line all the way up to the away end of the Fair Play stand. Uh, I've looked at the team quite optimistic. I mean, we had to change things from su from Sunday. Uh, I'm surprised Dean Cornelius isn't still in the starting eleven, uh, but we've ch completely changed our attack. Uh, we've got three really fast players up top, so I'm just hoping, you know, we can outpace the Dundee United defence. I think that's what we're going to try to do because their defence doesn't seem too nimble. But uh, hey, let's get into the ground and cheer on the well. Ah shit, here we go again. I can't stress enough how important this game is. We have to win. We've not won a league game this calendar year. Tonight has to be the night to kickstart our season before an intensive cup game against Aberdeen on Saturday. Can he wait? Right, so we've got five minutes till kick off. My prediction, you know what, we're, we're going to be positive today. We were right on Sunday with a prediction, so let's be right tonight. I'm going to say a 2-1 win for the well. No, I know, but he tipped it onto the bar. No, I didn't touch it. He didn't touch it. I thought he did. Let's guess. Come on. Come on. Not even a minute in. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Get me. Get out. Yes, yes come on. Oh, well, good pressure. Since when did he have a long throw in his locker? Come on, that's all right. Oh. 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 <laughs> 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 
Oh, come on, Gus. Lucky to be 1 0 down. I mean, all games against Dundee United have been the exact same this season for me. I mean, it's one goal in it, really. Uh, I mean, there's nothing between the two sides. Uh, I've enjoyed booing Tony Watt. Um, <laughs> uh, but honestly, we hit the bar in the first 10 seconds. Apart from that, I don't remember much of a shot on target. We're trying to walk the ball into the, into the net. The park's too tight for us to sort of utilise that pace. I think what we should do at half time is bring off Rullery, he's been pretty poor, bring on Van Veen, uh, offer something different up top and uh, just hope that we can just get back into this game. But anyway, bring on the second half on the well. And you, Dundee United! Here we go again. Oh my, what was that? You need to at least try and get a fucking hell. Oh! 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 Yes! Oh! How have you not scored that? Just completely set, we just need Graham Alexander to get sent off. We're making changes, but it's far too late. We've done nothing in this half. Absolutely nothing. He's done it, want to close him down, no? I mean, hot is hot, man. Oh, man. Just give us some. Oh, 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 my God. Spineless, absolute spineless performance today. Oh my! He's an actual. Again, they just you go up. Everything going over everyone today. Full time, lost 2 0. Don't talk to me. I'm going to cut the bullshit. There was only one player in that park that made a difference tonight, and that was Tony Watt. The last time we played Dundee United, Tony Watt was the difference for us. He scored in every fixture between Motherwell and Dundee United this season. 
And I'm not even annoyed. We allowed it to happen. We know exactly what Tony was all about. And he lived rent free in our heads the whole evening. How many games did we have in which to have an opportunity to widen the gap between fourth and the rest of the pack that's trying to catch up with us? And they finally caught with us because we've not been good enough. The way we're playing, we will finish in the bottom six this season. And it's entirely the fault of the players and manager. I'm being blunt here, but when you've got an opportunity for Europe, potentially five spaces out of 12 in the league, and we had it so good for a while, and we didn't replace Tony Watt when he left Dundee United. We had from the end of December till the end of January to find a player to replace Tony Watt. Maybe he's been replaced, but not to the level that we needed to yet. But we'll, we'll see. There's still time left in the season. I mean, we're only on 33 points. I mean, the last time we were this high up in the league, this late on in the season, COVID happened and um, we finished third and we went on an eight game winless run. But we had more points then. This is really concerning. Um, we've got Aberdeen in the cup on Saturday. You know what? I don't care if we win the cup, uh, the cup game. I'd rather... Like if if you if you gave me a choice, I'd rather see us win the game in the league. Like I'm just being blunt here. I I, I just don't I don't I, I honestly don't know when the next one's happening, and I'm really concerned about that. Our our away form is absolutely shocking. I think we've only won two games away from home all season. But in the league anyway, and. It's absolutely atrocious. Things have to change. We've we've just offered we've just let Graham Alexander sign a new deal, and since then we've not won a league game. I'm really worried. But anyway, we move on. Dundee United deserve to win tonight. I mean, the first half I thought was a bit eeksy peeksy, but in the second half, what the fuck was that? Honestly, what the hell was that? Anyway, we move on. Uh, Dundee United were the better team in that second half because we didn't want it. We didn't challenge enough for it. We had, apart from hitting the bar in the first minute and then hitting a shot on target late in the second half, I don't remember much. I mean, at 0-0 just before Dundee United scored the first goal in which Tony Watt made before a lovely finish by Dylan Levitt, um, Jordan Roberts put a shot, a slice of shot, four yards wide from seven yards out. Why? Why do we do this to ourselves? Can we just play Kevin Van Veen and play two fast boys either side of them? It might actually work next time, but we were really toothless tonight. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, it's the end of the vlog. Bye.